You probably saw the title of this video and thought to yourself, dang, that's crazy. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted on here because life, but what better way to make a comeback than to talk about how I want a six day vacation to St. Martin. To be clear, I'm filming this two days before I leave. And I decided that I wanted to tell you about number one, how I won. Number two, what the vacation's like. And number three, how much I actually ended up paying. So let's start with the first item, shall we? In the beginning of May, I was scrolling through the Instagram hashtag giveaway USA. It's just something I do sometimes when I'm bored and I came across this crazy giveaway that was a collaboration between DV Resorts and Tamara Elliott aka at Global Guide. I knew it was probably a long shot but there were surprisingly not as many entries as I thought there would be for a prize this insane and I saw that the giveaway was ending in like the next 48 hours or so so I decided to go all out. I think I tagged at least 50 people that night just sitting on my couch and then I got a message on May 7th saying that I won. I was emailed a gift certificate for a free six day five night stay at at DV Little Bay Beach Resort in St. Martin. And I could call the resort and claim that vacation anytime until May of next year. Now, let's go to the second item. Well, I guess this will be a combination of like the second and the third items. All the people that I've mentioned this trip to have asked me what the trip actually includes. And so part of why I wanted to make this video was to be transparent and to give you guys a glimpse of what winning a huge prize like this is actually like, what it includes and what it doesn't include. Like I said, I'm not there yet, but I already know that the prize includes six days and five nights there, plus free breakfast every day. There was an option for us to upgrade to the all-inclusive package, but that would be an extra $113 per day per person. Since breakfast is included, we're not big drinkers, and we already looked at the menu item prices for all the different restaurants at the resort, we felt like we probably wouldn't be able to eat and drink $226 worth of stuff every day, so we decided to not upgrade to the all-inclusive package. Plus, we did want to maybe explore some other parts of St. Martin, so we might not be dining at the resort all the time anyway. We did have to pay for our own flights, but we were basically able to use credit card points to cover one way and we ended up buying a scuba diving excursion that wasn't included that I'm very excited about so I'll be showing you the cost of that in the final total at the end of the video as well so that's enough talking for now throughout the rest of the video you'll be coming along with me as I celebrate my fourth wedding anniversary with my husband in St. Martin and I'll give you my honest review and how much I actually ended up spending at the end see you there are in our rental car. We just had lunch at Poyos Hermanos, yes, and it was really affordable. Not bad. Now we are on our way to Carrefour to stock up on stuff to bring to the resort because check-in is not until 4 and it is 2.11. Bed, shower, hello. Ah, just banged my leg on the corner. You can also come out here. Look at that view. It's a little after five and we are about to go to the pool. I'm very excited. I think there's an infinity pool. I've never swam in one. Yay! It's about 10.25 p.m. and we are wrapping up a really incredible first day in St. Martin. We had a really early start to the day and I feel like the process of getting to the resort was sort of long, but overall it hasn't even been like a full day of just like being at the resort and I already feel rested. So I'm very excited for what tomorrow brings. We have a few different options on what to do, but I guess you'll have to wait and see till tomorrow. Good night! Time to start day two! So we have had a really incredible day so far. We woke up without an alarm or dogs whining. We had the breakfast buffet, and then we just spent a bunch of time by the pools and on the beach. This beach is probably my favorite beach ever. The sand was so clean, it was quiet, the 
water was this perfect turquoise, also super clean, and it was warm. It was like warmer than the pools, which are heated. So it's just been a complete blast, and now we are headed to Lottery Farm. It's probably on my top five things that I've wanted to do in St. Martin when I was doing research. And then we are hopefully gonna get to eat at Spiga, which is an Italian restaurant that I've read a lot of really great things about, and apparently they have handmade pasta there, so I'm excited. Just kidding, I did not realize that Lottery Farm closes at 5 and it's 4.20 right now. We are just gonna hang out on the beach by Spiga. The area I believe is called Grand Spelled Case, but somebody we spoke to yesterday pronounced it like Kaz. I should have looked that up before I started talking. We are just gonna hang out on the beach and read and tan and stuff. Hello, it is the end of a really amazing day in St. Martin. Very excited for tomorrow because we're going scuba diving. The food we had tonight at Spiga was phenomenal, out of this world, spectacular, and everyone's been super nice here. Going to sleep now. Bye. Day three. We just had such a fun morning having breakfast, going to the beach, and then rinsing off in the pool. And now we are getting ready to go scuba diving. So I hope I'll be able to take some footage while we're there. I'm bringing our waterproof phone pouches. First time scuba diving! It is 7.07 .07 p.m. I am so winded from scuba diving. We got back from scuba diving like close to four. I've just been exhausted since then. So I've just been in my room. I organized some stuff on my computer for this vlog that I wanted to organize. And I've just been watching the Hunger Games. Scuba diving was one of the coolest things I've ever done. It was a little scary at first because, you know, you're trying to learn how to only breathe with your mouth. The first time I tried going down with the instructor i panicked because a lot of water ended up going into my mask but then we fixed the problem i had just been exhaling a little bit with my nose which caused some of the silicone of the mask to come up and then water went in but the instructor was so 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 nice so warm and friendly and helpful and patient 12 out of 10 would recommend scuba diving with this company and i'll link that in the description of this video too it was just so surreal we got to see a shipwreck and even a helicopter wreck and just so many different kinds of fish we even spotted an eagle ray and according to our instructor she doesn't really see a lot of those on her dives so it was just really special so yeah this trip is still going really really well i'm so happy here So I am in one of the beach cabanas right now. Here, I'll show you. This is just like this cute little, I might have shown you yesterday, but it's right by the beach and it's nice. I feel really grateful that if you are staying at this resort, you don't need to pay extra to rent beach chairs and umbrellas. What's really cool about St. Martin is that every single beach is public and it's free. The only thing that you would have to pay for are beach chairs and umbrellas. We actually rented a set of two beach chairs and an umbrella. It wasn't a lot for the whole stay. It was like 25 or something. I will double check that, but I'd say that's something good to have if you you plan on exploring the island and just visiting all the public beaches that there are. Some things that I want to mention quickly, one of the reasons why I loved our scuba diving excursion, even though this is like a pretty minor thing, is the excursion picked up people from a different resort and from this resort, but the actual scuba diving spot is like right there. It's not far at all from where I'm sitting right now, and it's just so crazy to think that like right there, there's a shipwreck and a helicopter wreck and stingrays. Speaking of wildlife, just a few minutes ago when we 
we were swimming in the ocean right there for the first time we saw fish pretty decently sized fish like the size of my hand there were only a few of them and we were pretty close to shore and then as i was getting out of the water there were like a ton of tiny little fish like a whole school so i think we're gonna hang out at the beach a little bit more it's just been really nice to start every morning with breakfast and then the beach i didn't film breakfast today because it's basically the same every morning and honestly i woke up really hungry so i just ate it right away but yeah starting our day with breakfast and then the beach and then taking a dip in one of the many pools here i know i should practice contentment in any circumstance but i really feel like if i could just start every morning like this swimming in the ocean even for five minutes and then moving on with the rest of my day i would just be really happy after we go back to the room we're probably just gonna head to lottery farm we'll spend a couple hours there and then i made a reservation at the astro lab it's like a restaurant that i've seen a lot of people talk about We are leaving Lottery Farm now. It was a lot of fun. We had ribs, we had a mojito. The waiter came around and gave everyone these little tiny cups of, he said it was passion fruit, like pineapple, rum. I don't even know, but it was good. I think the pool was like cool. It wasn't anything like super, super special, but the setting was, was nice. It had like lots of trees and we saw so many lizards and they were so cute. Now we are on our way to Orient Beach. That's where our restaurant for tonight is and it's only 5 15 p.m and our reservation's at 6 30 so i think we're gonna hang out at the beach a little bit and then dinner Hello, back in the room now. We have had a really amazing fourth anniversary. Dinner at the Astrolab was just, I think usually I'm not really a risk taker when it comes to food. I love everything food related, obviously. I don't know, I'm just not very adventurous. I usually do not eat French cuisine. So I feel like it was a really cool experience dining there because it really stretched me past my comfort zone. I tried a bunch of things that I usually wouldn't order. Everything was just really, really good. We're both really glad that we went. After that, we got back to the hotel and then I just finished my book in the hot tub and then we swam in the pool tomorrow's our last full day i think we're probably just gonna hang out around here and chill relax as much as possible because we've done so many things the last few days and yeah that'll basically be our trip but for tonight we are just gonna relax here and i will be staying up for speak now taylor's version bye last full day on this beautiful beach i just love it here so much i was telling david that i really just want to bring the beach home with me i'm starting to feel a little hungry so probably hit up one of the restaurants at the resort that we haven't tried yet because they're only open for lunch and we're usually too full from breakfast to get lunch so that's probably what you'll be seeing next hello i'm filming with my phone because i left my camera in the room we are having a really chill day we just got some coconut shrimp yeah we're probably just gonna go between like the beach and the pool and our hotel room get happy hour drinks because we love the frozen pina coladas here and then we might just find somewhere local not super far on the dutch side for dinner it's just been such a lovely time i was a little nervous on this trip that i wouldn't be able to relax and i have i'm really relaxed and i feel more ready to take on things back home very, very thankful for this trip. We are headed to our last dinner of our vacation. We are going to Ocean Lounge at Holland House. How are you feeling? Goop. Goop.
It's our last morning here. I am so incredibly sad to be leaving. I mean, look at this beach. Spending every morning out here, every day out here has been an absolute dream. I kind of wish I could live here. Ooh, iguana. Hello. There have been so many of these little guys around the island. I also saw some of the biggest bearded dragons I've ever seen in my life. Like, I did not know they could get so big. But yeah, overall, it's just been an unforgettable time. These are the best beaches I've ever been to ever in my life. And I'm really glad that we came during this time. You would think that it would be really popular and crowded here, but this is surprisingly low season. We didn't think it would be because obviously it's summer, kids have off from school, and the plane ticket prices were higher in the summer. Summer, but apparently their busy season is like in the fall to winter. I sort of thought about it this morning as like we paid more for plane tickets, but it got us a more private experience on the island. I think it was worth the money. again. As I hope you could see, we had an amazing time in St. Martin. The most unpleasant part of the whole trip was probably the St. Martin airport, unfortunately. It was just so hot and humid and crowded and it was hard to get Wi-Fi, but we made it back safely and feeling really rested. I know this video is already running long, so I just wanted to quickly go over how much we spent. Let me scoot over here. My budget for the trip was $2,500. Transportation, including our flights and our rental car for six days, came out to $1,209 and 10 cents. Lodging was completely free. Actually, I wrote free baby on our spreadsheet, which is great because I saw that an average night at that resort during this time of year is almost $300 a night. Our experiences, including scuba diving and our lottery farm trip came out to $231.90. Food and drink really added up, but I do think we got our money's worth. Everything we ate and drank on our trip, including at the two airports, came out to $719.24. And my miscellaneous category, which included last minute things we needed to buy like sunscreen and souvenirs and our tips every single day, that came out to $277.29. That brings us to a grand total of $2,437.44, which is pretty close to my maximum, but I'm just glad we didn't go over it. Coming back. We did spend more on food and drink than I expected, but if we had to pick a category to splurge on, it would have been that one. And I went back and compared this to our trip to the DR in 2021. I made a video about that too, so check it out. We booked that trip through Costco Travel and it was also at an all-inclusive resort. Our trip to the DR was over $4,200. So comparatively, I'm feeling pretty good about how much we spent on this trip to St. Martin. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of my video. I hope this gives you a little bit more insight to what winning a huge prize like this is like. And I hope it makes you want to visit St. Martin one day. It's really such a beautiful place and the people are incredible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.